Hi, my name is Asian Anthony. I'm a nurse student here at the University of South Alabama, and today I'm going to be doing my enema check also. I have my person scan the room. First, I'm going to begin this check off by gathering my materials, and then once I have gathered my materials, I will state the use of a IV pole and the use of a bedpan, and then I will um, darn my goggles. Once I have darned my goggles, I will then get ready to um, fill my IV bag with water. I'm going to come over to the sink. I'm going to make sure um, that it is clamped. I'm gonna fill it with between 750 to 1,000 milliliters of water. I can open it if we can open it all right Seven fifty to a thousand milliliters of water, and I'm gonna add my soap. And I'm going to agitate it. Then I'm going to unclamp and prime. And I'm gonna clamp it back. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to uh, place this on a firm surface like so. Put that there and I'm going to now don my clean gloves. to verbalize at this time that I will uh, raise the bed to a working height, I will lower the side rails, and I will place the patient in left lateral stems. I would also, um, yeah, place the patient in left lateral stems, and then I'm going to take my tubing with my dominant hand, and I'm going to get ready to lubricate my tubing uh, take this off i will lubricate uh with my non-dominant hand and then i'm going to get ready to tell the patient get ready to take a deep breath while i get ready to insert three to four inches in the rectum and i'm also going to tell um place my hand on their hip and i'm going to say if they have hemorrhoids they can bear down during this procedure to make the process easier so I'm going to get ready to insert into the rectum three to four inches. Um, I'm also going to state that um, if the patient is experiencing any discomfort or trouble during this procedure, then they can breathe to relieve some of that discomfort. And I'm also going to verbalize that I spread at the buttocks. And then I'm going to get ready to unclamp my bag and raise this 12 to 18 inches. And then I'm going to lower and clamp back. And then um, I will get ready to remove the uh, tube and I would tell the patient they would need to keep the enema solution 10 to 15 minutes after the procedure. So now I'm removing. And then I would get ready to discard this. And then after I have done that, 
I would get ready to help and assist my patient um, to their bedpan and or to BSC or to accommodate. And then I would state that the bedpan of proper usage. So this portion goes under the buttocks and this portion goes toward the thighs. And then after my procedure is over, I would get ready to clean up my materials. I would lower the bed back down. I would reposition the patient. And then I would get ready to go document um, the type and amount of enema used, the color and amount of secretions, and how the patient was left during this procedure. And that is the end of my enema checkoff.